All right, Melinda, thank you. Still to come, it's Colon Cancer Awareness Month. So in today's Wellness Wednesday, we have symptoms you should watch for and tips and ways that you can help prevent it when we come back. Colon cancer is one of the most common forms of cancer in men and women nationwide, and yet the majority of colon cancer is preventable. Before we turn the page on March, we have Baptist Health's Dr. Janelle Dawkins with Sherwood Family Medical Center here to highlight the importance of Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Dr. Dawkins, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. So we were just talking in the break, and you mentioned that colon cancer is preventable. Yes, it is, Ryan, highly preventable, and that's why we're here, you know, to spread awareness because we want patients to come in to get screened. So talk a little bit more about how preventable it is and, and what happens in that process. Right. So basically, colon cancer starts as an abnormal growth within the colon. And basically, whenever you get screened, we're looking for those precancerous cells. The theory is if we can remove those precancerous cells, we highly decrease the risk of someone developing colon cancer. Are there usually symptoms that, that people should watch for if they think they have colon cancer? Right, so this is what we call an asymptomatic disease in the beginning stage, which means you don't have symptoms usually. But as the cancer progresses, you can get some symptoms that are really nonspecific for colon cancer. But most patients develop you know, a change in their bowel habits. Some will experience rectal bleeding. A lot of people will experience a feeling like they're not completely voiding their bowels. A lot of patients will start to say their stool is getting thinner, you know, and then you have things like cramps and gas and abdominal pain, weakness, fatigue that can go with so many other disease processes. So when is it time to get a, to get a colonoscopy? So right now we start at the age of 45. But if you have family history of an immediate family member that has had colon cancer, you want to let your primary care physician know about that because we can start screening you earlier. So I talked to my doctor about getting a colonoscopy. I'm not 45 yet. Yes. But, uh, you know, he sort of talked about how they have to put you to sleep right. and, you know, the process of getting ready for one. And it, I, I was not happy about all of that. Right, and most patients are usually not happy about all that, right? But what we do is we talk about your fears of it, right? So is it a fear of anesthesia? If it is, we have other methods that we can use to screen for colon cancer. We have things like a cola guard. I'm sure everyone's seen the advertisements on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's non-invasive, but you know, our gold standard is still the colonoscopy. And you also mentioned there are lifestyle changes that people can make to, to bring down the risk of colon cancer. Right. So, you know, there is modifiable risk factors and non-modifiable. What I mean by that is there are some things that we can change and some things that we can't. So for the things that we can change, you can try and increase your fruits, your vegetables, your whole grains, decrease alcohol as much as possible, decrease smoking, and actually stop smoking if you can. We work on that. And try and, you know, have a healthy weight and, a, and just exercise as much as possible. So those are all things that we can do. Eat more fruits and veggies. Yes. Stop drinking and smoking. And high fiber. High fiber. Whole grain. Whole grain. Well, Dr. Dawkins, thank you so much for being here. Always and if a pleasure. You, yes. So if you want to hear more from Dr. Dawkins, you can do so by contacting Baptist Health by going to baptist-health.com or calling the Baptist Health Healthline at 188-BAPTIST.